This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday evening, January 17th. Weekend ahead will feature cold nights and cool days. More cold air by the middle of next week, even colder air before the month is over. There's a very cold pattern setting up for the last 10 days of this month. Let's take a look out the window. These images captured from the SkyCam network in mid-afternoon. That's coming from Hamilton High School up in Marion County. The sky there mostly sunny. Not too far away, that's the Fayette Sky Cam. Again, there lots of sunshine, but windy and rather chilly today. And on the Alabama Gulf Coast, a cloudless sky. What a difference it makes from January to June down there. I mean, you can't see a soul from the Phoenix All Suites down to the State Pier. But, you know, if you see that camera in June, it would be jam-packed with folks surfing up, uh, soaking up the sun in the sand down there. Big trough over the east, and again, that's delivering more cold air. Only upper 30s at mid-afternoon over the Tennessee Valley. Mostly upper 40s down here. And around the nation, there's the progression of colder air coming in from the north. Look very carefully on that radar. You'll see a few uh, snow flurries over Morgan and Madison and Marshall, DeKalb counties. Uh, our sky watcher at Black Creek, Vic Bell, north of Gadsden. He's seen snow flurries today, but that will fade away soon. On the watch warning map, the counties in purple down this way, those are red flag warnings for the potential of wildfires because of the gusty winds and very dry air. And up north, a few scattered pockets where there are winter weather advisories. It's a dry forecast for the next five days. This is through uh, Wednesday evening, showing no measurable rain here. Let's go take a look at models, model fans. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon tomorrow. Another clipper showing up up over uh, Iowa. Uh, during the day today, we're not, we can start the morning very cold. We'll be down around 20. The colder pockets, we'll see upper teens. Tomorrow night, we'll see clouds with that clipper, and it might be a sprinkle somewhere, but like the last couple of clippers, the air is so dry, don't expect any significant rain. There's Sunday. The wet day will be dry. Temperatures over the weekend will peak around 50 probably on both days. Uh, uh, I'd say highs between 47 and 52. And again, the sky should be sunny on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Here's Monday. This should be the warmest day. The GFS coming in with 58. Some spots may be touching 60 on Monday. But then Tuesday, here comes the next disturbance, sharpening up the eastern trough again and more colder air dropping in from the north. The high will drop back into the 40s, and this is Wednesday. Wednesday morning is going to be cold. The latest guidance coming in with 18 for Birmingham early Wednesday. And the high only around 40. We'll struggle to get out of the 30s. That'll be a pretty cold day. And this is Thursday. We'll start to warm up a little bit. The high will be around 50 in a week from today, Friday the 24th. Cool and dry. Lows around 30. Highs should be in the upper 40s, maybe low 50s if this is right. Now, the following weekend, this is Sunday, January 26th. And again, the model, the GFS model has been very persistent in the idea of some precipitation breaking out. This run shunts it farther to the south away from the cold air, and that would be rain for South Alabama and nothing up this way. But we have seen other runs that hint at some winter weather mischief, just something to watch in coming days. And again, this is Sunday, January 26th. On the 27th, that disturbance is on by, a cold pattern developing for the east, and down below that, a very cold air mass. How cold? Well, that cold. Those uh, lighter blue shades just north of here, that's sub-zero cold. Down into northeast Tennessee and Kentucky and West Virginia, and uh, this is suggesting lows potentially in the single digits for at least the northern third of the state. And again, this is Monday, January 27th, so... Uh, another very, very cold look. We'll check the uh, end of the forecast. This is the 1st of February. Trough coming in from the west. That looks wet and maybe snowy just north and west of here. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, you know, there's no skill in anything specific beyond five days. We're looking for trends and clearly the screaming message uh, the latter 10 days of this month look pretty cold. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Night, my next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates here tomorrow and Sunday. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.